that story and draw a raptor. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some? Paper and some vinegar. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We have our paper turned horizontal so that we can draw our dinosaur really big. And we're going to start over here. We're going to draw the head first, but let's start with the eyes. I'm going to draw a little diagonal line like this. And then we're going to draw the bottom of the eye coming down and back up. And inside we could draw a little pupil if you want. Now let's draw the mouth. We're going to start here and I'm going to draw a open mouth. So I'm going to draw a curve, kind of an S curve. It curves down and then back up just a little bit. Or you could draw it just straight. And then let's draw the bottom of the mouth coming down. And let's add teeth. I'm going to start here and draw a curve coming back into the mouth. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line back up. And then let's repeat that same step for all of the teeth till we get all the way to the back of the mouth. And then right here we could add a diagonal line that connects to the bottom. Let's also draw the teeth on the bottom of the mouth. We're going to draw a curve and then diagonal line down going all the way to the back. Now let's draw the top of the head. We're going to start here and we're going to curve up and then over the eye and then back past the mouth. <laughs> I like it. We could also draw another detail over the eye, just a shorter one. And then let's draw a little nostril up here at the front too. Now let's draw the bottom of the mouth or the jaw, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then back into the neck. Now we're ready to draw the neck. Let's draw a curve right here. We're going to curve back and down just a little. And we're going to draw a curve for the body coming back further. And then let's draw the tail coming further back almost to the end of the paper. We can even curve down just a little too. Nice. Now let's draw the front of the neck and we're going to curve down just like we did for the back of the neck, but we're going to get a little closer towards the body. Now let's draw the first arm. We're going to draw another curve that comes down to the right. So it curves out of the neck and then down. Then we're going to bend forward for the front of the arm. And then right here, let's draw the first talon or finger. Then we're going to draw another one right next to it like this. And then draw a diagonal line that connects the front or the first finger into the second one. And then right here, we're going to draw another curve that comes up. Let's draw one more finger. We're going to draw another curve coming out and then connect it back in. Nice. Now let's draw the rest of the arm coming back to the elbow. And then we're going to curve back up for the back of the arm or the other side of the arm. You did it. Look at that. That's really cool. Long Look, neck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a long neck and a really muscular arm. I like it. Now let's draw the back leg. We're going to start up really close to the tail or the start of the tail. We're going to curve forward and touch the front arm. So we're going to draw him taking a big step like he's running. And then we're going to curve back to the right. So this is his knee or her knee. And then right here, we're going to draw the, the foot, the start of the foot. Okay, now let's draw a big talon for the, the big toe that sticks up. It's like a big hook. And then we're going to leave a little space right here. and We're going to draw the next toe coming forward and then curving down. And then let's leave a little more space and we'll draw another curve and a hook at the end. Kind of looks funny. Let's connect them all together. <laughs> We're going to draw the, the talon right here first. So we'll draw that hook. 
and then let's draw the rest of the toe coming in and connecting. Okay, now let's connect the rest of these toes. We'll draw the talon first, and then we'll connect it in. Then let's draw another talon on this last toe. And then right here, we're gonna draw the rest of the toe curving out and then come up to the heel. I, that could be the heel or the second knee. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna curve up like this and maybe stop about halfway. And we're gonna give them a big calf muscle. We're gonna curve and then like we're gonna connect to the knee, but then stop, leave some space right there. Yes, that's a super strong calf. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the leg. We're gonna start here and we're gonna curve to the right and then up like we're gonna connect to the tail. Nice, we're gonna start right here on the leg and then we're gonna come up and connect to the tail. So there will be a big point at the end. There you go, keep going. You did it. I kind of feel like this tail is a little short. If we had more room, I'd draw a longer tail. <laughs> That's okay, we're practicing, right? Yeah. Now, now let's draw the other leg and he's running. So we're gonna draw coming back to the right, down and to the right. This is where the knee is. Now we're gonna draw curving this way all the way down and stopping right about here. And then we're gonna draw a short line forward. And then we're gonna draw that big talon just like we did on the other foot right here. Then we'll draw the rest of the talon coming back. Then let's draw the rest of the toe coming out and down. We'll stop right there. Then right here at the bottom, let's draw a straight line. So this is on the ground, this is where a raptor is stepping or touching the ground. Then we need to draw the other talons coming forward. So we're gonna draw a short line forward. Then let's draw a hook at the end and curve back up and connect into the foot. We could add one more talon too if we want. You could just draw a little curve right next to it. Now let's draw the rest of the foot. We're gonna curve up. And then we'll stop right here. I think there's just a really small toe right here. So we're gonna draw a curve at the end. Then we'll curve back up like this. And then we're gonna stop right there. So this is kind of also that heel that's right here. We're gonna draw a little curve or a bump. And then we're gonna come up to about here. And we're gonna draw a big calf muscle like we did here. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then back in like it's gonna to connect to the knee. And then let's finish the leg by drawing a curve going the other way into the tail. Let's do one more thing. She ha only has one arm up front. So let's draw another one. We're gonna draw a curve that's kind of just like this one. And then let's have it bending up higher. And let's repeat all of these same steps that we did here. So let's draw a curve coming forward. Then let's draw another curve just like that right next to it. And then we can draw the first talon coming in. And then let's draw this one coming up and then coming back for the rest of the arm. We could add one more talon just right behind the other two, like that. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing our raptor. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah.
Drawing QB5, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our raptors and they turned out awesome. I especially love yours. Mm, thank you. We added a few extra things, a tongue and also shading and some highlights. We also added a blue stripe. Yes, that's my favorite. Now she looks like blue from the Jurassic movies. You could add even more things like a background. Oh yeah, you could put her in the jungle. That would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a raptor. We do, and I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. We hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add extra things like a background. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.